Should you wait for a market crash to invest? Lots of investors think about this question when the market seems too high. So in this video, I'll tell you the findings of a recent research study conducted by Charles Schwab. The research looked at the long-term returns you would make if you were a perfect market timer and invested perfectly every year at the lowest point and compared it to the returns if you were a bad market timer and invested at the highest point every year. The results are pretty surprising and can help you figure out the best way to invest. If you are new to investing, Charles Schwab is one of the largest banks and provides various financial services and I will share the link to the research study in the description below. My name is Kanak and welcome back to my channel. Your support is what keeps this channel running and if you find this video helpful, then show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. So as a first step, let us dive into how Charles Schwab set up this research study. They looked at 20 years of returns for five hypothetical investors, each representing a different style of investing. Every year from 2003 to 2022, each investor gets $2,000 on the first day of the year. So the first investor is Peter, who is the perfect market timer. He is a guy who puts his $2,000 on the day when the market is at its lowest point for that year. The second investor is Ashley, who invests her $2,000 on the first day of each year. The third investor is Matthew, the dollar cost averaging guy. He splits his $2,000 into 12 equal parts and invests one part every month. The fourth investor is Rosie, who is a bad market timer. She puts her $2,000 on the day when the market is at its highest point in the year. Lastly, there is Larry. He is always waiting for the market crash and never puts his money in the stock market. Instead, he keeps it safe in a savings account. Those are the five investors, each representing a different investing style. Now let's check out how each investor did after 20 years in 2022. Not surprisingly, Peter, the perfect market timer, comes out on the top with $138,000. But guess what? The gap between Peter, the perfect market timer, and Ashley, who just invested her money right away, is not that huge. It is only $10,000. In the real world, knowing the exact bottom of the stock market is nearly impossible. So just investing your money right away for the long term might not make a massive difference and it is still better than other ways of investing. Another interesting thing we notice is that Ashley, who invested her money right away, is doing better than Matthew, the dollar cost averaging guy. And guess what? The gap between Ashley and Matthew is not much. Lastly, just as we expected, Rosie, the bad market timer, did not do as well as other three stock market investors. But despite being a bad market timer, she still made three times more money than Larry, the guy who always waited for the perfect moment but never actually invested in the stock market. Charles Schwab did not stop at one 20-year stretch. They studied 78 of these 20 year spans, going all the way from 1926 to 2022. And you know what's interesting? In 68 out of these 78 periods, the results were exactly like what we saw from 2002 to 2022. The remaining 10 times, the order switched between dollar cost averaging and investing right away. They also checked out 30 year, 40 year and 50 year periods. And guess what? The order of the results was pretty much the same. So now let us answer our original question. Should you wait for the market crash to invest? First off, predicting when the market will crash or hit rock bottom is nearly impossible. Even the professional investors struggle with it. So don't waste your time and energy trying to predict the market crash. Secondly, if you keep delaying and never invest in the stock market, you're basically losing out massive potential gains in the long run. Finally, although statistically investing upfront leads to bring in more gains, it might make a lot of investors uncomfortable. If the thought of investing lump sum makes you uncomfortable, consider dollar cost averaging over three to six months. It is a great compromise where you sacrifice a bit of potential gains for some peace of mind and still enjoy good long-term returns.